My name is Lynette Thrower. I'm a poet based in Fort Smith, Arkansas. We're currently in Bentonville, Arkansas, and I've traveled from Fort Smith for our retreat today. I had struggled uh, historically with saying no to opportunities, and um, I met a fellow alum last year from Artist 360 who shed an entirely new uh, light and perspective on the art, really, of saying no. And uh, it was an examination of do the missions align, my mission and the mission of the project. And if there's not an alignment, that it's an obligation really to self and to one's art to say no to the opportunity, not to the person. It's not a personal rejection. Rather, it's just that we won't serve one another in the best way at this time. So I've adopted that philosophy and even if I've integrated it into my personal life that if there are situations that I don't feel will serve me and benefit me well, then I, I say no to those things, not in a selfish way or self-centered, you know, or self-absorbed way, but just that I want to come away with the best experience and I want the other individual to come away with the best experience. And saying no to things that I know in my spirit aren't necessarily aligning with what I need at that moment, I don't think it's being true to myself and it's not honoring the other person either. Chronologically, I am 53, but I feel as though I'm 21, <laughs> simply because I've learned to listen to um, the, uh, the creaks in my body, so to speak. Uh, what's, um, what's ailing? What feels out of sync? What, uh, why am I having difficulty being my best self? And so then I do what I call root mining, where I begin to get to the root of the ailment and the malaise and begin to mine those things. And um, I constantly share with a friend, um, during the spring, it's time to start weeding. It's time to start life weeding. What is in life right now that's hindering our growth and what's hindering our steps physically, spiritually, artistically, and then begin to pull those things out. Um, I just simply believe that my mindset affects my body set. And so I've got to get those things and make sure those things are always synced and aligned.